Hi, that Paul guy. So we've reached the middle of May, which is good, I guess. Uh, can't believe it's already halfway through the fifth month of the year, but uh, 2020 has been kind of crazy. Uh, I know, yeah, we, we can say that again. Anyway, I figured it was update time, just the same way we did in April, and the same way I'm gonna try to do about once a month here for you. To let you know how things are going, things like the spider bite, what's going on with projects, what I'm working on, what's coming up, what I've been doing in between, all that good stuff. I'll start you off with the spider bite. Uh, I'll let you know that it does have a skin graft on it now. They were able to put a graft. They, uh, it was a little bit weird. Um, the, the wound was a little bit bigger than the graft itself. The wound was somewhere in the neighborhood of about three by four or four by four inches. And they went ahead and they put a graft on there that was about two by three inches. So they had to kind of stretch it. And it's sort of an odd shape. So it wasn't exactly like three by four, but it's sort of an odd shape. So they had to stretch it and staple it. And uh, most of that took, some of it did not. It all stayed on there, but some of it uh, didn't quite stay in place. So it's a, a really, really weird. It is still, I, don't, I wouldn't call it graphic now, but I still don't feel it's something that I feel comfortable sharing a video of on uh on YouTube, I, there are some people that have asked that I, yes, I will, I will send you a picture of you ask. I, I've, I've sent you one before or let you see it before. I'll let you see it again. I don't have a problem if anybody actually wants to see it. I just don't think it's something I ought to post on YouTube. Anyway, it is healing. Uh, it is doing well. It, we're in the third week of the graft. By now, the skin is already supposed to be kind of sloughing off. It's uh, actually fit on there and molded pretty well. And the doctor says it must have been taken from my twin or something because it's absorbed right in and it's doing very well and things are healing uh, really, really well. Some of the things I did not know about a large wound and grafts and the way they heal, uh, even though uh, once we get to the point where the skin actually does grow over the entire thing, I still will have to wait for another week or so. I can get it wet. Um, I, can, I can get it wet. The graft itself, I can't get wet right now. But after the point where it starts to heal, and everything. I would still be able to get it wet, but I wouldn't be able to go swimming or soak it like a, a long bath or anything like that uh, for another week or two until the, the skin kind of does take a hold and, and performs, makes sort of a, a watertight barrier. Um, it's just not good for the, the wound itself trying to heal. As far as stuff like swimming in the ocean, swimming in lakes or whatever, that's right out until several weeks after, just to make sure that we do have kind of that bond against any kind of bacteria or anything uh, causing more infection. I've already been through one infection that put me in the hospital and another minor one that kept me from getting the graft. So uh, hopefully we won't, be, we won't be going through that again. And this time it'll be able to heal, well, hopefully like it's supposed to. It is healing well, it's on its way. In another couple of weeks, hopefully we are completely out of the woods and got my fingers crossed. Which one's gonna be first? The conundrum we're going through or my spider bite healing? Mm, don't know. Anyway, I, I, shortly after the skin itself heals back over, I'll be able to do things if I wanted to go swimming in a pool, but swimming in the ocean or a lake would be out for just a little bit longer. Anyway, uh, it's good news on that front and thank you everybody for asking. Uh, I have done not one, but two small form factor builds this week, or this month, I mean. Uh, the first one was in the Cooler Master Elite 110 that I went ahead and did my, the small form factor build for myself. That one includes a Ryzen 5 1600 that came out of my editing machine a while back. It has an RTX 1660, and it is great for playing games and maybe doing a little bit of editing. Um, it will take longer, obviously, than my editing rig that's here at home. The main function was not necessarily be able to take that machine with me, but to take the smaller one, the, 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 new, uh, the new case, the Elite 110, with me when I go on the road, say, to my sister and brother-in-law's house or somewhere else, that I can just plug it into a TV somewhere and have something that I can play games and maybe do a little bit of light editing. Well, I have changed my plans yet again on that front because I got, mm, we're just gonna call it a smoking deal on a Ryzen 7 3700X. Now, the original plan was looking at maybe upgrading to a 3600 for the small box, the small form factor, but then I got my hands on this and everything changes because now this will go to the editing rig that as soon as I get done editing this video, as a matter of fact, to put on YouTube, as soon as it gets posted, this will be swapping out, and then I will have a 1700X that will be going in there. Along with that 1700X, I've also got a Noctua low-profile cooler, 
CPU cooler that will go on there because in the video, and I'll maybe I'll flash something up here and show you guys, the power supply was sitting directly on top of the cooler for the CPU with almost no room to spare and very little clearance. Uh, a little bit of fan clearance on the very front of the fan to allow some fresh air in. I did turn the power supply upside down so the airflow is coming from the top of the box out of the back, but it still doesn't allow for a whole lot of cooling on the CPU itself. So I ordered the Noctua cooler, and before I got a chance to put that in, I found the smoking deal on the 3700X for the editing rig, and so now I will swap CPUs on both. Also did recently complete Amy's build. Amy's build I, I will do a video on. Uh, I did also mention the parts and everything that were going in it. It got put in the Dark Flash DLM22 case. It's a white case that has a clear side panel. Originally, she just wanted some parts that were white or pink that would kind of highlight the fact that the case was all white. I did her one better. <laughs> uh, I actually, she didn't want any uh, lights or anything like that, blinking lights, flashing lights or anything. But how can you do something on a side panel, even if though it is just going to be an office machine? How can you do that without adding some extras? So uh, I added some pink RGB. The fan itself and the, the memory that's on the motherboard both glow pink and then we found out that i was going to go ahead and finish that up do a video and we found out through talking and what her actual needs are that one monitor is not going to do enough for now we put uh we put an amd apu in there the four core four thread uh i believe it was the 3200g we put the it's a ryzen 3 3200 g we put that in there and they'll be more than fine to do what she needs to do but she needs to run on more than one monitor at a time. That's not quite, quite going to do it because there is only one output for the monitor on the motherboard. And so we have to come up with something different. Well, as you can tell, I have no video card sitting here. Uh, she is borrowing the RX 480 while we get her another video card. We're not going to spend a ton of money. This isn't a gaming or high performance PC. This is just something that's going to be needing to use more than one monitor. So while we get that all set up for her, uh, I've let her borrow my, uh, my one true love, my RX 480 that I've had for a couple of builds now. And uh, we'll get that swapped out soon. Once we do get that swapped out, then we'll do a final video she was really really happy with the surprise she got to see that it was pink and lit up and everything looked great however she was not comfortable getting on camera and showing everybody and telling everybody that so the build, final build when we do it uh will not unfortunately have her reaction unless i can talk her into telling everybody that she really liked it and in which case maybe i can get her to to say something on camera then but uh she would not allow me to uh there were the, the camera was right out when we were talking about showing her or surprising her with the way it looked but anyway uh the build is done the build is working well we got her all fixed up with software and everything what she needs to be able to run her business and she now has that up in georgia and she should be able to, to get that set up for the time being with just one monitor and then we will get her uh, we'll get we'll have to get like a display port uh, cord or something like that so she can run two monitors but uh, we'll get her fixed up we'll get an adapter on there so she can run two monitors but it is set up where we can do that we just have to have an adapter right now my goal will be to go ahead and get her an actual video card that maybe has two hdmi out or monitors that support display port in so we don't have to worry about you know kind of getting adapters and going crazy we can just plug and play uh, with that said the we've covered two small form factor builds that we've done we've covered the spider bite and really that's about caught up uh, oh no it's not caught up because you're watching on the new camera that i've got this camera that will actually record in 4k this is going to be become pretty much my studio camera I did get something that was inexpensive and I did have a video covering that. That's going to be the one that I will leave here to do uh, my It's Thursday and, and other stuff that will be sort of like studio type th things. I will take the other one with me, the one I have been using that's regular 1080p. I will take that on the road with me when I'm doing vlogs or doing a, a trip or doing something that's uh, at somebody else's place, maybe in Ocala when I go, uh, take care of that one. And so I can do editing there. Uh, the, the main reason why I got it, I, I did find a really, really good deal. I'd been saving some money on a camera, but I didn't want to spend a whole lot. 
Uh, so I was able to afford that. Like I said, the processor fell into my lap that I wasn't expecting, but I still, if it hadn't been a screaming deal, I wouldn't be able to afford it. The camera I had been planning for, and I got, I'll, like I said, did a review on it. But uh, the main thing was so I could record, if I was going to record at 1080p, at 60 frames per second, the processing time and the editing time would take a lot less than it would on the older camera. More than likely, I'll be recording stuff at uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second, so it's easier to edit and that it doesn't take nearly as long to edit. And if I'm posting stuff like vlogs, I will probably do those at 30 frames per second on the 1080, which uh, was I was upscaling before, and now I might just go ahead and leave it as the, the 30 frames per second to make editing easier on that. So that's all I got for right now. Today's Tuesday, which means in a couple of days, we'll have another It's Thursday. We're about a week away from NASA putting uh, NASA and SpaceX putting astronauts back into space for the first time in about a decade. So I'm pretty excited about that. And by this time, or by the time I do it, and it's Thursday next week, that will have already gone or been aborted or what have you. So we'll have that to talk about as well. Uh, feel free to, to share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me any kind of comments. Please, uh, if you're interested and you do like what you're seeing, uh, share and subscribe. And if you you know got some some things to say or you got some suggestions or whatever, feel free to leave comments. I'm always uh, always up for those as well. So anyway, like I said, folks, this is all I got for right now. And until uh, a couple days from now, I'll see you later.